In this video, I'll show you how to create YouTube channels for YouTube podcasts. There are definitely some key settings that I wish I knew about when I first set up my YouTube channel, so we'll cover those. And what we're gonna cover works for if you're only gonna put your podcast on YouTube or if you're gonna make regular videos on the channel as well. And if you wanna grow your podcast on YouTube, I'm gonna show you the second fastest way to do that. I mean, I, I will show you the first fastest way as well. That just doesn't apply to all shows. So how about this? Stay till the end to see both ways. By the way, if you already have a channel and you just wanna to skip to the podcast part, we've included chapters in the description of this video so you can jump right to exactly what you need. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And we're gonna start off by going to youtube.com in your browser. Wow, YouTube is uh, naked. I can't remember the last time I saw nothing on the page. So if we look here on the upper right, it says sign in. And this is where you're going to sign in to your Google account, your Gmail account, anything owned by Google if you already have one. If you don't have one, then click down here to create account. Tell them what it's for. I'm gonna click for my personal use and follow the steps to create an account. Once you're logged in, we're gonna come up here to the circle on the upper right for your account. Right underneath your information, it says view your channel on this view. Well, if you don't have a channel yet, then it's gonna say create a channel. So you can click that. Or if the account you're in already has a channel, come down here to switch account, go to view all channels, and then click create a channel from here. Next thing you're gonna do is put in your channel name. You can have up to 100 characters and you don't have to check and see if other people have the same name. I mean, you might wanna do that anyway, but you can name it whatever you want. One of the questions I get asked all the time is should my YouTube channel have the same name as my podcast? If the only thing you're putting on your YouTube channel is your podcast, then yeah, go ahead and name it the exact same thing. But if you're also gonna put up other videos, then you may want a different name that matches you if you're a personal brand or your business name or something like that. Finally, remember you can always come back and change it later. So don't waste time trying to figure it out right now. Get the channel up, get your podcasts on there, and then you can worry about that next week. Then of course you have to accept the terms, hit create, and then it'll take you to a page that looks kind of like this. What you wanna do is give it about 30 seconds and then refresh the page and it should take you to your channel. You'll know it's your channel if it says customize channel and manage videos. Now, if you don't see those buttons, then you might be on a different channel if you have more than one. So come back up here to the little circle, go to switch account, and then just make sure that you have selected the channel that you just created. Now let's get these settings right. We're gonna go into Customize Channel, and this takes us into YouTube Studio, which is basically where you'll control everything about your YouTube channel. And there's lots that we can do in here, but let's get to the most important stuff. So first I'm gonna click Basic Info here at the top. And then here is your channel name. Uh, then you have your handle. So this is your at username, and it's gonna automatically give you one. Now you may not like Awesome Channel for My Podcast dash Z1i. So you can change this to something more memorable. Maybe you wanna match what you have on Instagram or something like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome channel for my podcast is available. I did not expect that. So this green check mark shows you that it's available. Um, let's just change it just so you can see to awesome podcast. And I'm guessing that's not available. No, see, so that one's not available. You get this red mark there. So change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as that in case somebody else wants awesome channel for my podcast as their username. You can add your pronouns if you want, and then a description. Now, if you already have your podcast on a hosting platform somewhere, you could take the description and just copy and paste that in here, but I wanna show you one quick nuance. On a YouTube channel, the first line of your description is actually going to show here on your channel. And then if I click more, then it shows the rest of it. So you may wanna really think about that first sentence. And if you don't have your description ready, you could just write two quick sentences about what your channel or your podcast is gonna be about. Next is the really ugly channel URL that people could click to go to your channel. But in fact, the easy way when you promote this is going to be to send people to youtube.com slash at and then your username that's up here, your handle as YouTube calls it. Next, you can add any external links. So you might wanna add a link to your website or to your audio podcast if you have that version of it. And again, those are all gonna show up on your about section. And the nice thing is you can put context for what it is as well as the link. And if you're gonna put more than one link, just know that the first one is going to show here without anybody having to click more. So that's really important to keep in mind. Finally, down here at the bottom, you can put in contact info, basically an email address in case in the future, a brand or a collaborator or somebody wants to reach out to you. Now I will tell you, you're likely to get some solicitations that you don't want. People have this weird thing they do on YouTube where they say, hey, I checked out your channel and it sucks and I can help you make it better. Um, so maybe not put your main email address there, maybe make up a separate one if you want, but sometimes you may get legitimate people reaching out to 
sponsor a video on your channel or collaborate with you on something or different things like that. So it is a good idea to have an email address there that people can contact you through. Next, back up here at the top, we're gonna click on the second tab here, branding. First on this tab, you're gonna upload a photo to be your profile picture. You could use a logo here, but people tend to connect with faces a lot more. So I strongly recommend putting a photo of you, the host, there for your channel or for your podcast. Once you upload it, you can drag the corners to change the way that it looks if you want. I do recommend, again, a tight shot of a face because in some views, especially in the comments on mobile, it shows up really, really tiny. Next section here is the banner image. And this is what shows at the top of your channel which seems simple enough, but the way it's gonna look depends on the device that somebody is viewing it on. It gives you the dimensions to make it here, but when you upload it, you're gonna see this screen, and essentially it's going to show you the different ways that it'll show on different devices. So for example, right now I'm hovering over viewable on TV, so if somebody pulls up your channel on the TV, it'll show all of that. If it's on the computer desktop, it'll show all of that all the way out to the edges. If it's on mobile, it will only show this section here. So you gotta get kind of clever with the way that you do it. Um, you'll notice this one I made says, listen on the go with the audio podcast. And that's because on both mobile and desktop, this banner will point down to this sort of little about section. And then this bottom section, you can add a little video watermark. So this could be your face, this could be your logo, but generally it's used to create a subscribe button that will appear over your videos. So this is just one I made in Canva. You can have it only show at the end of the video, you can have it show the entire video, or usually what I do, that I've seen a lot of other people do too, is uh, just make it show up after the first 30 seconds. Odds of somebody's you know, wanting to subscribe before you even get into your video, very unlikely. So that's a nice number to have it kick in. But it is a prompt that will get more people to subscribing to your channel. Now back to this first tab layout, you can ignore this on a brand new channel because you can't really do anything with it until you actually have videos on the channel. But once you do have videos, this is where you can add a channel trailer and customize a lot of different things. Here's mine on the back end, and you can customize with different playlists, other channels you want to feature. And then you'll see on the front end of my channel, it looks like this. So I've got YouTube growth tutorials, podcast tutorials, podcast software and gear, short form video tutorials. If the channel's only for your podcast, then eventually you might create playlists of fan favorites, most popular episodes, episodes around a certain topic, different things like that. Once you're happy with the way everything looks, you can hit this publish button here on the upper right. And again, don't worry that, oh, it's not ready. Uh, the odds of somebody discovering this channel until you promote it, very, very unlikely. Now there's a few more settings you need to know about, but if you ever wanna come back to this screen, wherever you are on YouTube, click on the circle in the upper right corner and go to YouTube Studio. Again, this is the back end for everything on your channel and go to customization. Next though, we wanna come down here to the bottom left and click on settings. A lot of these are self-explanatory, but a few I wanna show you under channel, under basic info, put in your country. And again, this is where you are. This is not about who you're targeting. Then you can also add keywords. So just by typing in phrases that you wanna be found for, awesome podcast, you hit comma, then it gets added as a keyword. These are gonna be about your channel overall. The second tab here, advanced settings. This section, do you want to set your channel as made for kids? YouTube takes this very seriously. So if your channel is made for kids, then say yes, it's made for kids. If not, then say no, it's not made for kids. And if you want to review for every video, then you can choose this third option here. And depending on what you chose, you may see some additional options down here that you want to look at. And then this third tab, feature eligibility. So you're already gonna have standard features turned on because we've created the channel, but you're gonna to wanna to take a few seconds to unlock the intermediate and advanced features. Actually, I shouldn't say want, I should say you need to unlock these. For example, unless you unlock intermediate features, you can't create a podcast on YouTube and you can't upload anything longer than 15 minutes, which a lot of podcasts are. All you have to do is put in a phone number. You can verify up to two channels a year with the same phone number. They'll text you a code and then you just paste it in. It's a one-time thing to make sure that you're not a bot. And then advanced features, you are going to need to unlock those if you have an audio podcast on another platform and you wanna add it in here using an RSS feed, which we'll talk more about here in just a second, the verification is a little bit more involved, but again, best to just do this at the beginning and be done with it. Last setting we wanna look at is upload defaults. You don't have to do this, but if you have the same thing in your show notes for a lot of different episodes, rather than having to find it in a document and repaste it in, or retype it every time, you can just type it in here and it will show up as the default for every video that you upload. Now you can still delete it. It doesn't mean it's automatically on there, but this is a huge, huge time saver. Once we're done, we hit save. 
Now the channel's set up and you could start uploading videos, but there are a couple of other important steps specifically for podcasts that we're gonna walk through right now. You should still be in YouTube Studio at this point, but if you're not, go up to the circle on the upper right and then select YouTube Studio. We're gonna go to the upper right corner and click this Create button. And in just a moment, I'm gonna show you how to create a brand new podcast with this first option. But first, real quick, if you already have an existing audio podcast on an audio hosting platform, first you're gonna click Submit RSS Feed. And then this screen will walk you through the things to know about adding your podcast this way. But the most important thing to know is normally with an audio podcast, you can replace the audio with your host, you can change the titles, descriptions, all of that, and it'll update it across all of the different podcasting apps. However, if you attach it here and send it to YouTube, certain things will get updated, but if you add audio or things like that, they won't. If you update the title, the description, or the publish date in your podcasting software, it will get updated here on YouTube. Now, if you're not to that stage yet, don't worry about that. I just wanted to make that clear to anyone who is adding their existing audio podcast here on YouTube. Now that that's clear, we're going to click the next button on the lower right. And this is where you're going to enter your RSS feed, which you will get from your podcast host. Now the fine print, not that it's that tiny, but it says you may not submit an RSS feed that includes ads. So keep that in mind about your show. But if the host is reading a promotion or their sponsorships or endorsements, that's all fine. If you don't know where to find your RSS feed, it's a special link. Look on the help section or contact your hosting provider. But I'm going to go ahead and paste one in for one of my podcasts. It should end in .rss. Then hit next. Your RSS feed should have an email address associated with it. And it's going to send an email so that you can verify that you own this feed. So that's to make sure I can't just go take your podcast if I figure out the RSS feed and add it to my channel. So you click send code. It'll go to your email. Then you paste it in here and then click verify at the bottom. Now here's where you wanna slow down to make sure that you get this next part right. Choose which episodes you want to upload now. So if you just want all of your episodes on here, then you would choose that first option, right? Super simple. Now, depending on how many episodes you have, for example, this show, The Six Ways, has 38 episodes, it says, due to the daily upload limit, it may take a few days to upload all 38 episodes. Maybe you only want your newest episodes, in which case you would say upload episodes published since and then choose a date. And maybe you don't want any old episodes, you just wanna have future ones show up. And then paid promotion down here, if your episodes have paid promotion in them, then you can come down and say, hey, they contain paid promotion, or you can leave that off and then just check it for individual episodes if it's not very many. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then on this screen, it's recommending to wait till all of your episodes have been transferred before you actually publish it. it says once all episodes are uploaded, you'll see the publish button under the podcast tab on the content page. So then we hit save. It'll say some of that same information again, and then you can just hit done. If I quickly go to this content tab here in YouTube Studio, you can see it's now importing the RSS feed, so it says processing. Down here is my actual podcast, but this is the new one that we just brought in. It's set to private, but once they're all there, then you can switch it to publish, and they will be publicly available. Now, if you don't have an existing podcast, now we're gonna walk through how to create a brand new podcast from scratch on YouTube. Starting again here in YouTube Studio, we're gonna go to that Create button in the upper right again and choose new podcast. And this time we're going to click create a new podcast. So I click on that and it's going to open the window with everything that you need. Now you're going to need three main things. And if you already have an audio podcast elsewhere, then you can probably just copy them straight from there. But if you don't have them, then you'll need to get these together. And the first one is the title. This is the title of your podcast. Now it may be the same as the title of your channel, but if you put a broader name in as the name of your channel, maybe for your business or your personal brand, then here, this would be the actual name of your podcast. You're going to want that to match exactly exactly what you have on the other audio hosting platforms to avoid any confusion. Next will be the description of your podcast. Again, if your whole channel is about your podcast and you already wrote a description in the main channel description, you could put the same thing in here. And then this next section is the thumbnail. And occasionally audio podcasters coming to YouTube get confused here, but the thumbnail in this case is the exact same thing as your cover art for your audio podcast. And again, you want them to match to avoid any kind of confusion. And this, just like everything on here, can be changed later. Below the thumbnail or cover art is going to be visibility. If you want this to be public for everyone to see it, then you put it on public. Unlisted means somebody could find it if you gave them the direct link. And then private means you'd actually have to share it with them via their email address. So maybe you wanna have it on private if it's not ready to go now, but otherwise go ahead and have it on public. And then default video order. So there's a ton of options 
ones in here, but it's really only the first two that the majority of podcasters ever, ever use, okay? And the only question you have to ask yourself is, what order do I want people to watch or listen to my episodes in? If it is a traditional podcast, you put out a new episode every week and people can consume them in whatever order they want, then you want to do date publish newest. That means the newest episode will always be at the top of the feed. But if it's a serialized storytelling, somebody should go in and listen to episodes one through 10 in that order, then you would choose date published oldest. If you have episodes ready to go, you can click add videos and then actually add them to your podcast right now. But otherwise we can just hit create. And this will be very underwhelming, but now your podcast is set up. It's a very blank plain page because we haven't actually added any episodes here yet, but this is what it's gonna look like. If you wanted to go back to what we just changed, you can click details over here and update any of that stuff. And the final step, here's what you're gonna need to know. You can click this upload button here in YouTube Studio or the create button again, upload videos. So again, doesn't matter if it is a video, a regular video or a podcast, you're always gonna do that upload video button. Choose the video file that you want to upload. And everything in the upload interface is the same as a regular YouTube video with the exception of right here under playlists. I'm gonna click this drop down. And then whatever you named your podcast is going to show up here as a playlist and it'll say podcast here on the right. So you click that and that is how new episodes get added to your podcast feed. Just for comparison, let me jump over to my complete channel. So here under playlists on this channel, I click the down arrow and you can see I have the six ways podcast. That's that playlist, but then I also have these other playlists. So anything that's a podcast will be designated with that little podcast tag there. And you just always want to make sure that you add it to your podcast so it shows up in the podcast feed. As promised, the second fastest way to grow your podcast on YouTube. Well, let me tell you the first first. The first fastest way is to create YouTube episodes with titles that people are searching for because YouTube is ultimately a search engine. So if your video solves the problem or answers the question that somebody is searching for in a good way, then it's gonna get picked up by the YouTube algorithm over time and could really, really grow quickly. However, that doesn't apply to all shows. Not everybody titles their episodes as answers to questions or queries on YouTube. So the second fastest way to grow is to take clips of your YouTube and release them as YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts, by default, get shown to people who are not subscribed to you yet, who do not know who you are yet. So it's a really fast way to reach new people. I've got a tutorial on how to do that on the screen right now so you can watch that next. And if your podcast is for your business, you may want to grab our free checklist, 10 things you need for a profitable podcast. You can find the link to that in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.